What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, and today we got a first look at an upcoming keyboard from Durgod. This is the Fusion, a really nice retro wireless mechanical keyboard that's definitely different from a lot of the keyboards out there. So we'll check it out today, go over it all, give you my first impressions in the first look. So I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with Durgod. They've had some solid keyboard releases over the last year or so. And this upcoming Fusion board definitely takes a design turn a bit with this cool retro look to it. But I think it's unique with the pewter, black, and red accented keys, a big bold logo, and a big old power switch on the right side. This just sends you right back to the 80s. And while it really doesn't fit in with my aesthetic, I can definitely appreciate this. And I'm sure a lot of you dig this as well. It is a cool design. So the Fusion has four modes of connectivity. Two of them are for two separate Bluetooth devices, noted on Q and W. E is for a 2.4 gigahertz wireless connection, and R is for wired mode over USB-C. For wireless, you just power on the board, pair it to whatever connection, and then you're good to go. You can now ditch those desktop cables. Now taking a look inside, there are six screws on the frame that holds it all together, plus an additional three screws on the bottom of the keyboard that are hidden underneath the bumper feet up top. And yeah, here you have it. Nothing too crazy going on here. Just the PCB, no foam or anything like that. Uh, the plate here is aluminum, and then the battery pack. Now I haven't gotten confirmation of the milliamp hour size of this battery. I'd assume judging from their previous wireless keyboards and today's standards, it's anywhere from 2,500 to 4,000 milliamp hours. And since we don't have any RGB or LED lights, the battery should last you quite some time before you have to charge it again. I will say the top and bottom housings of the Fusion is 100% plastic, you know? So if you do take it apart, just be careful. And when you're putting it back together, you do have to physically snap the, uh, the bottom lip here of the top cover onto the bottom housing so it fits back into place nice and snug. So in my unit here, I have cherry brown switches, and yes, Durgat is going full cherry on this release with black, blue, red, brown, speed silver, silent black, and silent red options available to pick from. Me personally, not the biggest fan of these brown switches, but I'll manage. Now another thing I really respect about Durgod is that they factory lube their stabilizers. The spacebar, left shift, backspace, and enter key are all lubed. And you can see here in the close up shot with the spacebar, uh, you can see some residue showing and stuff. But they lube not only the support bar, but the inside of the stem as well. This is pretty much just gonna cut down on a lot of rattle. It's gonna feel a lot more smooth on these keys. And not a lot of companies do this for their customers. Select Ducky keyboards, Leopold, Vermillo boards. They're the only ones I can really think of right now to do this. And as we always do, got a sound test for you with the cherry brown switches inside. So as you heard, not too bad sounding for tactile brown switches inside of an all plastic housing, uh, but those loop stabilizers are really doing work. Especially with no foam and no further modifications, it sounds really good overall. Now, obviously, we're gonna talk about gaming with this, of course that's what I primarily tested it with, but I wanna point something out, because with testing, you look at the Derogata Fusion in this colorway. By the way, they also have different colorways available. I saw like a, a, a blue one, an orange one, but I like this colorway the best out of those. It is a damn near perfect match with the Extrafy M4. It's practically the same exact colorway all across the board, and it just fits that retro theme 110% here. Pretty good duo. I'll put this down below if you wanna check it out as well. So like I said, circling back to connectivity and using this, one thing that kind of tricked me was under the actual Durgod logo, 
That's where the 2.4 gigahertz wireless dongle is. I thought they just forgot to include it, but it's housed under there nice and sneakily. And I did test it out on all three of the connectivities with wired, Bluetooth, and wireless with the dongle, and I had no issues whatsoever. If you want to go wireless, obviously you unplug it, turn it on, you press function and E, hold it for a few seconds, it'll start to pair, and if the dongle's plugged in, it'll just connect for you. And while I said I'm not the biggest fan of Browns, I'd never really use them, you know, in depth for gaming and stuff, other than just testing out other keyboards that had those, and it held up just fine. I didn't notice any lag, no significant delay or hiccups when I was gaming, which is obviously going to be a good thing. So for those of you wanting a wireless mechanical keyboard with a really unique look, this has got you covered. However, with a keyboard with this unique aesthetic, I do think a nice custom cable would look really nice with this, especially those like coiled ones. They're just to kind of add to that 80s look. I feel like all cables were coiled back then. But yeah, the Duragod Fusion here and the Extrify M4, a match made in heaven. So as far as I know, this is a very early release. It's coming to Kickstarter very soon. And that's really all the information I have about it. Like I said, I have reached out to them, sent a few emails as follow-ups to get more specs about it, but I don't really know anything more because I never heard back from them. Uh, but judging from their current landing page, this will be on Kickstarter. Like I said, three different colorways. You have all those cherry switch options. And it's seeming like the early bird price is $99, which is going to be half off of the seemingly retail price of $200. Wouldn't recommend it at $200. Uh, just because that's a hefty price for this. But at $100, a no-brainer for a really unique keyboard that is just definitely going to stand out and be a, a nice piece on your desktop if you love the retro vibe. Like I said, this nails it, and you got to appreciate a unique keyboard with factory lubed stabilizers. Good job, dear God. So yeah, I'll put the link for it down below if you want to check it out, as well as, like I said before, the link to the perfectly matching Extrify M4. That'll wrap it up. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at RandomFrankP. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you're staying safe. Have a good day. Commodore. Baby Commodore. Introducing a new series of educational software titles for the Atom computer, like Atom Smart Logo. Use with Atom to help kids learn computer programming, problem solving, and logic. You wrote these programs. Well, I had a little help.